Today we continue with Spring OAuth 2. We'll make a connection between a Spring Authorization Server, Spring Resource Server, and a Spring OAuth 2 client. We start an eclipse with the Spring Authorization Server code. The first file is the Maven POM XML. Spring Boot Starter 3.0.1 Java 17 Spring Boot Starter Web Spring Security OAuth 2 Authorization Server Version 1.0.0 The next is Application Properties it we only have server port 9000. The main class is a default Spring Boot main class. And finally the security config class. We have two security filter chain beans with default configuration. User details service with an in-memory user details manager. No op password encoder. Registered client repository with an in-memory registered client repository with the following fields client ID client secret scope read scope open ID scope profile redirect URI client authentication method authorization grant type authorization code authorization grant type refresh token authorization server settings JWT decoder this is required for the OpenID scope to work. JWK source along with the static methods generate RSA and generate RSA key to sign the access token. Next up is the Spring Resource Server. Again we start with the POM XML file. Spring Boot Starter version 3.0.1 Java version 17 and the dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Web Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Resource Server and application properties we have Server Port 8090 and Spring Security OAuth 2 Resource Server JWT Issuer URL This is the URL of the Spring Authorization Server The main class is a default Spring Boot main class The Security Config class has a security filter chain being with any request authenticated and the issuer location of the application properties. Finally, we have the controller class with one method, home, which returns welcome home with the date and time. This is the endpoint that we are going to request from the Spring OAuth 2 client. Finally, we have the Spring OAuth 2 client. We start in the POM XML file. Spring Boot Starter version 3.0.1 Java version 17 And the dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Web Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Client And Spring Boot Starter Web Flux This is needed for the web client. Application Properties has the following fields. Server Port 8080 Provider Client ID Client Secret Scope Authorization Grant Type Redirect URL And Issuer URL The main class is back a default Spring Boot main class. The security filter chain bean and security config has Any request authenticated OAuth 2 login login page and OAuth 2 client with defaults. In the web client config class we have Welcome client being along with the HTTP service proxy factory we configure the web client. With the OAuth 2 authorized client manager being we allow the web client to interact with OAuth 2 with authorization code and refresh token. In the welcome client interface, we set up the web client endpoints. Finally, we have the welcome controller where we load the data from the Spring Resource Server and display it in a browser window.
we can now launch the three projects and look at the result in a browser window. It is important to start the Spring Authorization Server first, then the Spring Resource Server and finally the Spring OAuth 2 client. We have started the three projects and can now look at a browser window. We open the page localhost 8080, this is the Spring OAuth 2 client. First we have to log in with user and password in a window of the Spring Authorization Server. And we get as a result welcome home and the date and time of the Spring Resource Server. This is the end of this video. Thanks for following.